All right, we're going to simplify some expressions for SOL review. And remember, when you when it says simplify an expression, you're going to either be combining like terms, which is grouping your families, or distributing, or maybe even both. So let's look at this first one, 5x plus 6 minus 2x minus 15. The first thing we do is look at it and say, okay, there's no equal sign, so we're not solving. We just have to put together our families. So you have to find, okay, here's my 5x and here's a negative 2x, and we're going to put them together. And if you notice, 5 minus 2 is 3x. Then you have a positive 6 and a negative 15, and when you put those together, you get negative 9 and you end up with 3x minus 9. The big thing is you cannot leave a sign out. Um, if that 5x at the beginning had been a negative, you have to take the negative with it. You can't leave it out. All right, the next one, parentheses. That means distribute. So you take that negative 2 times x, and you get negative 2. The negative 2 times the negative 4 is a positive 8. Again, you can't leave out the sign then bring down the rest, plus 7x minus 1. Then you do exactly what we did on the other one. You're going to find your x's and put them together, which gives you 5x. Then you're going to find your number families and put them together, which gives you 7. And that's how you simplify expressions. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's see, here's an example. We are going to distribute. So if you take, you see those parentheses, that negative two on the outside times x, you get negative two x. Then a negative two times a positive seven makes negative 14. So you have to make sure that you're using your signs. You can't leave anything like that out. All right, next one, it says simplify the expression. There are no parentheses, so that means I'm going to put together my families. There's a P, and there's a P, and there's a number, and there's a number. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the negative 8 in my calculator and the negative 6, and that gives me negative 14P. Then I'm going to put my numbers together. Notice how I'm using the signs. 12 plus 2 is positive 14. So there you go. When you simplify that expression, you end up with negative 14p plus 14. Okay, so let's go here, and we're going to try the next one. We're going to have two steps here. We're going to have to distribute and then a combine like term. So let's start by distributing. I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator a little bit, and I'm going to say negative 9 times negative 8, which gives you a positive 72, and the P comes along. Then you have the negative 9 times the positive 12, which is negative 108, and then you bring down the negative 6p for our next part of this. So we're going to put together 72p and minus 6p. So I will come to my calculator and do 72 minus 6, which gives me 66p minus 108. So that's your answer. But it could also look like this, negative 108 plus 66p. Either one of those is correct, so make sure to keep your eye out for that, okay? And we've got one last one. We're going to distribute and then combine like terms. So let me start by distributing. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a positive 4 is a positive 8, minus 5x plus 2. My 2x and my negative 5x have to go together. So I'm going to say 2 minus 5 and get negative 3x. And then my positive 8 and my positive 2. And I'll go ahead and use calculator. 8 plus 2 is positive 10. 
And remember, uh, if it was written 10 minus 3x, that would also be um, a correct statement. All right? You've got this, guys. Have a great day.